What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today's stream is sponsored by Samich, uh, who offered the deck. I like this idea, Blob Ganticus. Now, this is basically our uh, Conjure Leap deck, except it has two major changes. One is that instead of Transformation Station, we're running Nebula. And the other is that we're running Bad Moon Rising and Blob as optional finishers. So it's really nice to have new ways of, you know, different ways of winning the game, not just with uh, leaping your cards uh, and relying on your Pogo Mug, but you can uh, ramp up again to Bad Moon Rising or ramp up and get a Blob in. So you have uh, a few uses out of the Nebula. You can obviously stick Brain Vendor into the Nebula, and that'll give you two extra brains that turn. Brain Vendor can also be comboed. Um, just with the mug and that will allow you to either play a leap or a bonus attack this turn the brain vendor will be played for three give you three back pop into a gravestone on turn five uh, and then when it pops back out it'll give you another three uh, brains you have plenty of things to spend your brains on after you do the brain vendor mix up grave digger combo um, and you can also just play your brain vendor which is going to give you a whole bunch of extra brains and teleport your blob uh, onto something, anything on the field, and this will get a whole lot of brains that way, especially if you played that into the nebula, and then use a bonus attack to finish off your opponent. <coughs> the Pogo and Mug themselves, besides for Pogo, being able to bounce something off the field, it leaves a 2-2 body on the board, can be reactivated by the Mug, but then you can leap the Pogo into a 5-cost card, so kind of really just melds together. Not a whole lot of early game in this deck, but if you consider that Iron Border is a really good one-drop, and Terraformer is gonna make every, all your cards cost less. Even Ice Moon in a, in a pinch can be used to control opponents uh, if they are playing aggressive. I think this deck will have enough. Um, this is sort of my twist on the deck, not the original deck list, but I think this will uh, bring it together nicely. I really wanted to have four Pogos and Mugs in the middle of the deck just to give it that stability it needs and have, an, you know, just you can sometimes win just by Pogo, mix up Gravedigger, and then play one more mix up Gravedigger and they concede. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll get right into the games. And uh, we should... Uh, I'm going to go for... It's late. I'm going to go for eight games today. These games are probably going to take a really long time. So if you think this deck will win six out of eight, vote yes. Five out of eight is going to be a no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash. Brahma. <coughs> and we're shouting out the merch every day. Guys, do you want this mouse pad? It's amazing. <laughs> Check out Frime Up Merch. The link's in the every description of every YouTube video. Don't look at the old ones. That's the old merch shop. That one doesn't count. That one's complete garbage. <laughs> that merch sucked. No, it was good too. But uh, we made it made a brand new spanking new work merch shop. We got designs. We got we need a leap mugs. We got mugs that say mug, which is in the mail. I ordered a sample. And it's still not here, because I live in Canada. But they do ship international. What am I doing here? I don't even know what I'm doing. Do I spam this on one? No. <coughs> Bruh. Okay, now I'm gonna play this in Ice Moon just to control this lane. Torchwood. A rare Torchwood. Here comes the Peapod. Here we go. Here it comes. Look at this two for one. This is what I'm talking about right here. We can actually just play the uh, the Brain Vendor and leap it. It's a really good card to leap because it costs nothing. And it leaps into a four cost card. We'll take that. Do we do this now? Or do I wait? I, I think this is going to be worth it. We, we need a, a play for turn four. Otherwise, we're not doing anything for a couple of turns. That's a Garg launching guard. It's pretty cool. <coughs> we could bonus attack if we want to. Eh, I concede. Get wrecked. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Yes, we are selling mugs that say mug on it. And it has a very makeshift, copyright free. It's called a. It's not mixed up Gravedigger. It's. It's mixed up Fry Digger. <laughs> Hell yeah. I really try to focus, get some early game. That's nice. Do I keep a brain vendor here? 
Um, it'll basically be useful no matter what other cards we get. So, you know, if we get a mug, if we get a nebula, if we get a leap. <coughs> Go with that. So we play space time on the ground. Maybe we'll just uh, ice move. Every card here is useful except for like Bad Moon Rising. Unfortunately, on turn three, you can't play Buried Treasure and then cover it with Brain Bender. You gotta wait till turn four for that. Uh, okay. So we'll probably just Ice Moon here, get some Conjures going. Yeah, it's pass. It's just Ice Moon. We'll do this next turn. Maybe. Let's see what we get. I'd love to conjure something playable here so we can actually save this return five. Just give me another space time, I'll be very happy. Space time from space time. Ooh, alien ooze? Oh, I'll take that. Oh, that's right. So wait a minute. Well, no, we can play one, two, three, four. You don't even have to commit the brain vendor yet. Gotta love it. Oh my gosh. Bruh, that's a four cost. Holy crap, that's pretty good. So we can alien news this now. Rumble. What a bitch. Go. Oh, imagine blocking. Imagine that. I wonder if I do th this one first. Oh my gosh, we have freezes and everything. We have freezes and Jesus. Uh, I think I'm gonna play this, and we're gonna actually go for the battle cruiser first. We take those. He's not gonna be expecting battle cruiser, bro. Come on! Oh yeah, it doesn't actually die. <laughs> Get wrecked. Beep beep. So there's no need to commit this. Uh, we'll proc the block. We get uh, teleportation station. That'll be just fine. It's just a free two damage on this. So. We take those. We conjure. <laughs> Man wasn't expecting that. That's a free cheese cutter. Take those. Yes. Free teleports. Guys, it's all coming together. <laughs> everything. When everything goes amazing in PvZ Heroes. So if we play five. I don't have Bad Moon Rising. Well, we can do Bad Moon this and Bad Moon Rising. Is there a reason to Pogo here? I don't think so. I hope he doesn't have a Blockbuster, but I feel like he would have probably hit this last turn. Nice. It's uh, up to RNG if we can get the Battle... We want the Battle Cruiser to be in lane 4, because then it protects everything. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, it's godlike. It's godlike. Let's go. So this dies for free. That hits face. We'll take that. I could freeze just for a conjure. And he saw the battle screen to come out late. Yes, hell yeah. Easy. <laughs> He's like, nah. Nah, I'm good. We had a, a whole field Bad Moon Rising coming up next turn. Hell yeah. <coughs> Did everyone vote yes for this deck? This is good old, good old conjure leap that doesn't really fail much in the screen. We always have good luck with this deck. 85% voted yes. I would have voted yes. I think I think this is... I think this might be an optimized... It's not as leapy, obviously. You're not going to really be getting Zombots without Transformation Station, but... Pretty optimized version of the original Conjure Leap concept. Uh, we got Pogo Mug. See, if you have Pogo Mug, like, what could go wrong, you know? So we'll go two. Try to draw out the Spike Weed Sector. Because I freaking feel like it. And we'll have Teleport so we can start spamming them and extra cards never hurts. Come on, Spike Weed! It's so obvious that we have this, I'm not even going to play it now. Here's this now. Ah, uh, there's no need. 
We'll play it on we'll play it late on turn five with the mug. It just gets more value then we can bonus attack for five damage. Okay, so now that we're now that we're we have a curve now for turn four or five, I could save this for turn five. I think it's better just to take the teleports now. I'll play this here, so I don't know, spike weed sector. <laughs> it's Starch Lord, I will see you next time, Starch Lord. Have a nice day. Yo, yo, chunky ass out of here. Yo, potato looking. Potato looking ass. Garbage card, as you all know. Oh no, we're getting block busted right now, aren't we? This is really bad. We're getting block busted to the Ice Age here. Maybe I'll just play around Blockbuster. Should I teleport this in instead? He put it right here! No, I'm playing around Blockbuster. <laughs> there's so many... Ever since we started doing the Blockbusters in the tournament, the Countertron, there's so many Blockbusters. I'm playing around it. Screw it. It's Teleport Mondo Bronto. We have options. He's like, damn it. No. Teleport. Mondo. <coughs> okay, so we didn't get the fancy mug play. But it's okay. This guy's down to seven? See, I think now is when we do the the we do this. It's like this. Now I'll mug. See, now if he if he uses that, I mean, he could set up another card. But if he goes for this, he's only getting one of them. That's right. Garbage. I mean, we got six cost nurse, not even that good. I don't even know how much play nurse would be if it costs six. Maybe guards should just be cheaper. What if Supernova Guard costs four? Would that be broken? I don't think so. <laughs> Summoning Gargoyle just on one Supernova Guard got turn two. Sounds legit. Egg. Egg into. You'll have a new YOLO. So we're hitting him for so much damage. Uh, this one right now is scarier. He, he supered up, huh? It's fine. You want to see heals? I'll show you heals. Clink, clink. Clink Walker. We could go teleport nurse. We can also like leap bonus attack, bonus attack. We'll leave our options open here. Woohoo! Oh my. This man's got uh So which one do we leap? We can also Bad Moon Rising. Uh, it's not it's not great. We'll do the Bad Moon Rising later. Leap. Is this one? It's not necessarily going to hit face for a six drop. I'm going to hit him for it with a five drop. That's cool. See, now if he gets bubble, he just loses. That's how this game goes. I'll save the teleport. Get bubble! Get wall. Well, he used walnut. He used super. So he has to get heal. It's a 50 50 of just straight up lethal. Get bubble! Get bubble! Get bubble! Get bubble! Yes, it's bubble. He's thinking way too long about it. Hell yeah! Lethal. Got him. Easy. <laughs> oh! Dude, with a heal deck where he looks stable, I mean, we put him from, from like 17 to 0 that turn. Crazy, man. OTK Mondo Bronto. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> wow. That's a, that's a good sign if we're beating Walnut Heal deck, you know? Oh my gosh. That guy, that was scary. And just like that. 
<laughs> See, Sandwich is not here. I, I, I you know what? I, w I really should have done this in a in an earlier stream, but I'm just streaming late. I'm just trying to get my 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 schedule back together. I'm in a weird sleep schedule. Um, so I decided I'm not going to delay doing this deck anymore. I haven't seen the blobs at all. Zero. Nada. We're not going to see it here either. I think if this absorbs the Godify, we're happy with that. Really overpowered card. Why does this card have Bullseye and it grows? Lurch for lunch, underrated. Lurch for lunch, be fair. Honestly, it's like for budget decks, run that as your finisher. That's how we do it. Uh, should I commit space time or should I teleport it in next turn? I'm just worried he's gonna have like some little kernel pulse and then space time dies. I, I think we, well... Well, alright, let's go for it. It's exactly that one card. There's nothing else. Water balloons. <laughs> okay, we got away with it. Hell yeah. A lot of blocks, but it's okay. Yes! Conjures? I'll take Conjure. We like Conjure in the in the Fry'em Up stream. So we hit him with this now. <laughs> this card will cost three less. Oh my gosh. Almost playable. Bruh. Okay. You know, this goat can be a base for a blob a little bit later. We take those. I think I'm gonna teleport this card in now. And then maybe mug next turn. It'll cause two damage. But it's okay. Shrinking. Kind of expected. Not a whole lot of value. It takes a two drop and a zero drop. So it's teleport. Give him one of these. Good thing it's not a guardian hero, because we get away with all the the pogos and the mugs and stuff. That's a really good even if he mogs this, that's that's gonna be the end of Mix Up Grave Jugger actually revives this card right now, so it also conjures us another card. Man, that's a good mug. I wonder if I should mug first. Should I be greedy and pogo for the pogos are better, you know, to play around Dragon later. They're also fine on six because it plays around Brain Mana. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Mug. That's a good enough mug. I'm gonna have cool beans this thing. But I really want to conjure. I don't want this getting shrinking violeted. And it's it's just a strong, strong board. 12 health, 5 sun. It's not a great place for Rose to be. That's fine, but he didn't block anything though. You're basically dead. Four, five, and two. What? Well, give us pack air bounce. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my gosh. Wait, so what is this again? Minus one, it has to be down to two. So it doesn't actually kill that, but we're doing 11 damage on 12 health here. Maybe? Yes. Oh gosh. See, now Pogo is just is just win. Win, win, win. That superpower is not going to save him on turn six from this board with one health. I think the, the block meter's being friendly here. Freeze. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. He's ramping. That's what you're doing. Uh, but, but, okay. I mean, I guess I leap like this one. So it goes face. That's crazy, man. I'll take Deep Sea Guard. And that's it. There's no way Rose can't deal with two guys with one superpower. So, you know, the Rose. That was just not a good placement for the twin sunflower. You gotta protect your face there, bro. I don't know about that play. They just figured the only way to get back in the game was us not having an answer and then getting dragon next turn. Grave flick, yeah. We could have had grave flick, too. Never gonna play around that card. It's just bad grave buster. It draws you a card, but it gives them the pogo, their pogo back. It's not... I don't want that. I don't need that. <sighs> Should I get rid of this pogo? If we get our super, exactly. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to it. Okay, <laughs> we got this. 
We take those. Easiest 4 0 ever. <coughs> no forget me nuts. So we have a 3 cost pogo, 1 cost bonus attack, and a 6 cost bad moon rising. Notable. And we got Bucket Bucket Bay. Guys, Bucket Bay is going to lead us to victory. That's all I'm trying to say. Come on, space time. Yes! Yeah, okay, so I guess this is going to go on heights so we can play around Scorch. But that is a huge space time coming in just to give us a curve. That's going to be a zero cost barrel. Do I spam the barrel right now? I think because I have a high health minion on the field, I think spamming barrel is good. It'll just make space time more potent. You know, this doesn't ma matter if it takes one damage. His card will probably matter a lot more. So now what do we do? It's just a tempo play. I mean, we'll have a 4-3 up against this 2-1 now. Um, so I could Pogo. There's also a world right bonus attack. And play Bucket Bay? <laughs> Did I play Bucket Bay? I don't really have to Pogo on 3. It gets more value the later you play it. I I'm passing here. Okay. The bonus attack is probably still worth it in 1. It keeps my card... It kills a 2-1. I mean, it keeps my space time alive. I'm gonna do this. I'm also going to spam Bucket Bay here, because it'll draw out his environment, which makes Nebula better, and it just means this won't die to some little one damage thing that the Solar class does. Yeah, we also conjure a card, so <laughs> now we got two cost Nebula. Oh, I think we're going to see the Bad Moon Ride, guys. I know it's been half of four games. Man, these games have been going a lot faster than I thought. Uh, so now we Pogo? I wish I could play more than one card here. Alright. It kind of loses the trade. I'm not really afraid of 3 damage with 15 health, half a block meter. I think we go after the... Yep, we're going after the Captain Jucumber. Just don't want to give him ways to get back into this game, right? We're kind of done, you know? I mean, uh, bruh, gosh. I mean, we do we like double Nebula. I could go three, and well, we'll just have a regular Bad Moon Rising. What if I spam this here? Is this stupid? It's extremely stupid. Okay, that's the play, and we spam Nebula, and we just try to get a Bad Moon Rising. If I top deck a one or a two. Or a three. And so be it. It also, like, blocks this lane. We went with that. Go with this. Man's healing. Man, if we get a one, two, or a three here. Well, it has to be the brain vendor. It can't be another blob. Then we're in the money? Money time? It's Bad Moon Rising no matter what. Can we get money? Ah! No, we get, we're not going to get a 1, so just Bad Moon Rising. <laughs> Plus, the, the guy in lane 2 is going to get extra extra chungus. Oh my gosh, so he's healing. Oh, these Allosaurus are scary. I mean, it's going to be hard to deal 7 damage, so we're looking for, like, Zombot, I guess. Uh, perhaps, like, a... Uh, <laughs> Things that would be good in 1 and 2 would be like Gargolith? What's in the box? A double Mondo? Uh, yeah, well, they die. Oh my gosh, that. We take those. We take those. Now, these go to 1 health, but they're going to go up to 2. Actually, this one's at 4. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait. Whose Dino Roar happens first? I'm going to go on the presumption that zombie dino roars happen first, and then I want this extra card. I want the teleport. I don't think it's going to heal. I think zombie happens before plant. I don't think I've ever seen this. Mondo against the dinosaur. He's not going to heal. He's not going to heal. He's not going to heal. Zombie 
strike through happens before plants, zombies attack before plants, zombie dinosaurs also happen before plants. Hell yeah, hallelujah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm gonna play around like some kind of thing here. Espresso Fiesta. Really, just teleport, teleport wins in lanes one and two. The attack of a Mon Mondo has been the MVP. We're not running Mondo in the deck, but Mondo Pronto has been clearly the most valuable player today. Oh my gosh, these teleports are gonna come in hard. We need a leap. We literally don't need a leap. We have, oh, unless he, I mean, lawnmower. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we we win if we take a nap here. It's guaranteed leap already, but what fun would that be? Come on, Bamboo Rising. Okay. Well, we're getting somewhere with this. We already have a teleport active, so if we get a car... Da, 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 da. <laughs> just, just BM. This is just complete rudeness. Come on, Bamboo Rising. Let's go. Come on. Bonus attack. Well, that's no fun. Oh, blah, that's nice. Here, let's put that here. <laughs> I don't know how much attack. Oh, 15. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm talking about. 5 and 0. Get wrecked. <laughs> uh, I'll get on the highlight comp. Why not? <laughs> oh, man. That, that right there, that right there, <coughs> that right there is what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Oops. Today is 12, 13. What? Prime up, please stop bullying five-year-olds. No. I will bully them until they, they, they get better at PvZ Heroes, okay? It's, it's the only way they learn these Gen Z years, man. She said she was 12. <clears throat> Not five. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, okay. Whoa. Oh, that's what I'm talking. That's a good... That right there. That right there. That, that, that's a good hand. That's a great hand. <coughs> this is a ramp play. We're going to get a... Well, a legendary that costs two less. I was going to... We're going to, but... Probably they always stop me again. Nah, I get when I when I recover from a cold, I cough for like two or three weeks. That works. I'm supposed to do this here. You guys want me to cough? I do drugs. Fry does drugs on stream. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That right there. Bro, why juggernauts? Stop being a little blitch. A little blitch. So we get a card, we conjure a card that costs two less. Hopefully it's playable. We want to go for this. Wait, this is our turn five play. So we just want something that doesn't damage. <laughs> yes, we take this. So now it's going to give us another conjure that costs two less. This will be a nice body to stick on this 2-1 here. Should this go face for some reason? I don't think so. All right, one more. One more hit. One more hit. Yeah, it doesn't help at all. <laughs> I mean, it'll make us conjure another card, so we take this. <sighs> Why would you... Okay, bro. I'm sorry, bro. <coughs> Do I leap now? I think I leap now. Hell yeah, I leap now. 
Oh my gosh, we got Brain Bender. That doesn't do anything. It's like the worst three drop. Why did I just. Bruh. <laughs> Sometimes that's good, but not that time. Hey Fry, I wish I could watch the whole stream, but I have fun stream. Can't wait to see it on YouTube. All right, Mr. Toxic. A literal bad egg. Do we go for the leap play? Do we play around Blockbuster? <laughs> I think we're doing this play. We're gonna just yellow it. Should I leap lane one? To a three cost car? I wanted this one a little bit. Why leap lane one? I actually even got the brain vendor there. When I, when I, they don't really have to kill us for getting me nuts. It's not really doing anything. No blockbuster. We take those. Which one do we leap? <laughs> Everyone's just conceding. They can't deal with the mugs, man. Give these guys blockbusters. Fry, you didn't hum while timing him out. Are you okay? It was really obvious. I looked at this guy's message history. Oh, I forgot to read the guy's message history out loud. Sorry, we have to publicly shame people. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here's the last the last five. Tell me if I'm, uh, I'm getting a little overboard here. Captured by X Recorder, my bully deck. No, keep on bullying people. Bruh, fry him up deck is garbage. This is all caps, by the way. The guy doesn't, he has a caps lock on. He doesn't even know. How would he know? Um, at Kimi, shut up, I'm richer, all caps. And then finally, grass knuckles. Beat fry him up in his face, all caps again. And then spamming the exact same message about the grass knuckles again. I think that I think that was a good ban. You know, I have to do the thing where I go through the unban requests. That'll be amazing. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Is there? Is there? Mm, I'll do this later. <coughs> I was thinking of like playing Ice Moon and then Space Time into it, but I, I'd rather just like do this. I'll, I'll, I'll Ice Moon later. We'll get more value. I don't. This this doesn't actually do anything except for give us huge gigantic superpower. Give the man some cap locks. You take away the cap lock, actually. I don't know, man. So there's that. Looks like just Ice Moon here. Come on, Spike Weed. You gotta save your dog. Do it for the dog. Oh, my dog. We have nothing to do here. That's the wrong one. That one's not even in danger. Why are you vet? You're overvaluing your garbage card. Do I spam one of these? I think I do, because we really need a pogo. Very badly. We need a leap. No, we don't need a leap. We need a pogo. We need something playable. Come on, space time. Don't give us garbage. That's that's another battle cruiser. It was good that one time. We've got much going on here. This will be five attack. Do I just leap? I could play this right now. It'll have five attack. It'll be a five five. And then I can protect it next turn with the battle cruiser and then mug and then it dies. I can also leap this card. I think I'm gonna do this. <coughs> Call me crazy. And then he just bounces. <laughs> Great. Great play, Fry. I, I just destroyed my space time for no reason. My gosh, no, ugh, no. We're getting wrecked by this Triceratops. Alright, it's all about if he has a block. If he has a blockbuster, we lose the game. This is just. This is just life right now. This hand sucks. The Forgive Me Nuts is getting a little annoying, not gonna lie. Gosh, it's counter drawn. This is legit. Legit counter time. I was getting confused there. This is... 
Engineer game. This guy's so familiar to me. Did we? Did we lose? I think we're getting wrecked. That is the work. Give me either of the other superpowers there, please. Now we can't win. Now, oh, whoops. Uh, never mind. Yeah, we're dead anyway. All right, six and one. Hey, I didn't realize the answer is yes already. We're legit six and one now, right? I forgot to award the fries. I didn't cheat. Did we really get to six and one that fast? Gosh, it's after 11. That was pretty bad. That guy's a sniper, right? Engineer gaming? That sounds so familiar. He's using my deck. He was even running Blockbuster. He just didn't happen to get one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's Asian. He's gonna win. It's just how it works, guys. <laughs> if you don't believe me, believe me, look at any Overwatch team. <laughs> look at any of them. <laughs> Just not. <laughs> They're just better than us. It's facts. Facts. I'm just adjusting my side sink for some reason. Alright, guys. I'm just spamming Nebula here. Screw it. I don't know what's gonna happen next turn, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> we need a Bad Moon Rising, is what we need. Oh, you're right, not at card games. The Americans win the card games, right? Because they don't require hand-eye coordination. What we're missing. Oh, we got egg. Come on, rats. Come on, rats. God damn it. Gosh darn it. All right. Well, we go here. We don't need the extra one damage. So, so, even getting a teleport here would be absolutely brutal. And then fairy? <laughs> so now what do we do? I don't really know what I'm doing with all this extra. <laughs> what you gonna do with all that junk? Did the opponent use a superpower yet? No. Pona has not used a superpower. We don't really have anything to do with any of this ramp. Because we, we really need a teleport. Alright. <laughs> Bruh. Ow. The ramp is real, so no six drop. Would have would have hit us with a cob cannon from hell there if I had it. Can we get a card to play? Yes, leap. <laughs> we take those, so we save this one now, huh? All right. We're actually getting five more brains here, so if we top deck like a bonus attack, we can play it. More leaps or whatever. Oh my gosh, they're running Grey Flick. Uh, we can still leap this one. Is this the Pharaoh? Yes. I'll take the 7 drop. Man's ramping like crazy here. Did the opponent use the superpower? He used Mog? What did he Mog? I don't remember that. Can we get something that has some attack, please? Dear God. I think the cards is the most valuable thing here, right? So we do that. Pony use mod. <laughs> it's called ramp to nothing. See now Pogo. <laughs> Pogo's pretty damn good here. I'm gonna spend a brain vendor to, to control this lane. 
And then we'll stick a pogo. We'll do the blob. Man, blob does a lot if we play it. Well, if we play it here. Nah. Pogo. We actually win the trade in lane two as no. It's got a heal for three. Draw three cards. <coughs> I'm really glad we got rid of his card draw though, because that's <laughs> Rose not having, not, I mean, a dragon does do a damn thing here, because it gets bounced. That does do a damn thing. So we definitely don't want to give him back that card, and we win the trades in the other two lanes. So, process of elimination. Is that, that's terrible pogo. We need a teleport! It's a bonus attack. Should I go for Blob already? I just feel like I play Blob and it gets removed. And then we kind of lose. Kinda. I could play Brain Vendor Blob bonus tech for, ele for 11. Which doesn't even really do much here. We have to just play a tempo game. In fact, I think I just saved my card since nothing trades well here. We don't need health. We need card advantage and tempo. <coughs> yeah, Brinana is a thing. Oh my gosh. Every rose ever. Honestly, though, we have enough going on in this field. Now the opponent's down to a manage manageable amount of health. I don't have any answers, man. There's freeze. There's a mug. Uh, mug looks good. We'll do the we'll do the the blob thing next turn, I think. This also plays around dragon a little bit, so we can shift what lane it is. Let's check these since we have a. Uh... So there's two mugs. Burning vendor. Rodeo. So the two mugs are here. Uh. Um, we're just saving this mug from dying. <laughs> Wait, does this bring us to eight? Wow, we can kill the dragon. I can also do 5 damage to his face and save this. Is killing the dragon worth it? It's gotta be, right? Ugh, okay. We're still not in great shape in this game. We really needed that bonus attack, though. Got one. Do we play around another dragon or a great zucchini? I don't even know, man. Second dragon will just wreck us. So if we play three, this will cost way too much. I'm yellowing it. I don't know. I don't. I don't think we're gonna have another chance in this game. If he has another dragon, well, so be it. We'll have to play it in one now, and we'll at least conjure a card then. Maybe something good will happen. Otherwise, five and thirteen equals eighteen. That's <coughs> that's what I'm going with right now. There's a certain point we're looking for the teleport, waiting for it, but the guy's got Brainanas, which doesn't kill this, by the way. So this is viable now, next turn. He's ramping to nothing. Block damage, bro. You're going down to seven. This is so... Okay, he doesn't want the card. I was thinking, like, he wants this to live. It's not about this living. He doesn't want us to draw a card. Okay. Kind of makes sense. Pogo would have been really good. But uh, we could just win with a bonus here. I love how the 13 attack blob lives there. Brainana against a full board, you know? Not really getting it done. 
Okay, taco to phase for the win. No, 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 no. <laughs> Honestly, now be dragons, we can still bonus attack. Which is pretty awesome. No, 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 Seven and one! As a wise man once said, we take us. Wow, should I just play two more games with this deck? The answer's already yes. Sorry, I forgot to choose the outcome. Yes. 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 Uh, these games went really fast. Let's just do two more. This is a fun deck. Come on. We're gonna go the distance. <coughs> I know it's 11.30 at night, but this is too much fun. Ah, is there enough teleports in this deck? <laughs> We're not running teleportation zone, but you do have four teleports and teleportation station, so... Anyway, get rid of bonus attack. It's more of a late game card. Double space time, though. Can't go wrong with that. Hell yeah. Love getting a good one drop into this really powerful curve. Don't have to play around Scorch now. So, I was going to play about this first space time on Heights to play around Scorch. Now we don't have to play around it. I'm going to play it on the ground so we can teleport in the second one here. You sort of want to teleport it into the left. Oof. I wonder if I even teleport or if I should just save it for the blob. Huh. Could just play Nebula here. Bonk Choi. Oh, come on. I, I guess I'll go for the Conjure. Hopefully, we get someone good here. We gotta kinda conjure our way to victory. Oh, okay, I got something. Nebula into Ice Pirate? Into Ramping Ice Pirate? <laughs> now what? Just Nebula and we'll do something crazy next turn? I feel like I'm taking all this heat though. Should I just play this to block? I mean, we don't need the extra ramp. I could just play this one too. All right, let's just play this one. <laughs> then we'll go crazy with this next turn. We just need a Bad Moon Rising or a bonus attack or a leap or something here. All right, we actually killed one of these. So that's fun. I don't really have any consideration of which one of these lanes are gonna be better for the Nebula. I mean, we're gonna fill every lane anyway, so. Right? <laughs> Maybe we're not. I mean, that should have been two, so we have the option not to front us. I don't know what the practical application of that would be. I, I don't know what I'm hoping to get here. I think I'm hoping to just get like a strong K card that goes together with Mug. <sighs> I mean, five and two. Should I gravestone this? I might as well. I guess I go water, right? Yeah, let's go water. It opens up a fifth lane for us, so that's cool. <laughs> but we don't have anything to do. We're, we're, we're leaving... We're leaving six brains on the table here. Ooh, I kind of wish this deck had more things to utilize these crazy ramp plays, you know? My gosh, that hurts. Cowboy's there, so it actually hits twice. That's cool. And Monk's in the water. I guess we take this. We need a good conjure here, man. You sound good. That's not good. Better off. Yeehaw! Yeehaw, bitches! Wow, that blocked. Okay. So much for us getting lucky with the lanes there. Opponent's at 15. 
I don't really know what I'm. I don't. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I don't have any answer to this. Zero. Freaking zero. I have no idea what I'm doing. I am playing cards and hoping that something will ha good it will happen next turn. I'm also hoping to get one of our mugs in three. Because then we can finally put an end to this piece of garbage. No! <laughs> but of course he's conjuring legendary, so there's no chance of us actually doing anything effective. Oh my god. This is, I'm telling you, it's one of the best cards in the game. We're not, we can't do damage because it's just... He's healing for six here. I feel like when we have Blob, we never have Teleport. And when we have Ramp plays, we never have Bad Moon Rising. Should I just run a fourth Bad Moon Rising and stuff? It just seems so bricky. That'll probably be the downfall of this deck if I start running a fourth Bad Moon Rising. We can't do damage, though. All right, well, so much for that. <laughs> Guys, hello, gays. Block into an environment so we have a chance of doing something. Sounds good to me. Or we could just lose a rolling a one. You know what? At this point in this game, oh my god. <laughs> No, now we lose. Now we lose. At this point, there's no way back into this game. We don't have a board. He's got a. I, I hope this kills us. God damn it. Maybe we can play for for getting a pogo and winning here. All right, that's our new plan, guys. In pogo, we try. We got a top deck of pogo. It's the only way. He's down to five health. Pogo sure go a long way here. God damn it. We can leap something. That'll be cool. See, if we... Well, okay, so he heals back up to full health. <laughs> Is there, like, a leap that would help us? <laughs> We're so dead, aren't we? <coughs> I probably really should have just covered this, huh? I don't really know what a pogo would have even done. Well... Ice the mid and then go for a blob. Blob this turn? It still wouldn't do enough damage though. Well, maybe it would. Oh <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man has 20 health. We're actually still technically alive. And that's being very generous. I know, but Pharaoh is not going to actually help us here because he has 20 health. Literally. He can't even heal anymore, so it stays at only 22-22. Uh, we need a leap. There's nothing that... <laughs> Guys, we can technically survive another turn. So we might as well. We might as well live to see another day. Just concede, Fred. <laughs> but if we come back from this game... Oh, no! Okay, okay, now I'll concede. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Guys, we're in a 7-2 and two scenario. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. I feel like once I decided to do extra games, all the, all the mojo of this deck went to crap. I really want that good ramp to Bad Moon Rising play. The only thing I think is the garbage card in this deck is Nebula. <laughs> it actually hasn't done anything. 
You need Nebula and Ramp Cards and Baboon Rising. It's not worth it. Nebula dead card. Is this the same? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold your horses. I feel like we just played this rose. Now, I can't read Chinese, but that is the exact same rose we just played, so. The chat's gonna be like, bro, it's Japanese, you're racist. That's not race, that's not what racism is. Mixing up languages. Mixing up two actors who both have the same skin colors. <laughs> not what race, look up that word. Don't know what it means. Stupid. It's so stupid. Stupid, you stupid or something? Stupid. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna learn my lesson and hold on to teleports. <laughs> was it actually Japanese? No, it was Chinese. Shut up. I know what Japanese looks like. Japanese looks like houses, and Chinese looks like tic-tac-toe. That's the difference. <laughs> to my stupid American eyes, it's not actually what it looks like, but to my dumb eyes who don't n knows neither of the languages, that's what it looks like to an American. Okay? <laughs> okay. What does it say on your blanket? This blanket's awesome. It says partner because I'm a Twitch. It says Twitch on here somewhere. Guy, look what they sent me. I'm the I'm the I'm the ghost who haunted Hanukkah. I don't know. I don't know what you guys. <laughs> Cancel culture. You're done, Fry. Shut up. I'm canceling all of you. You guys are all officially canceled. Shut up. Are we leaping that? That's what we're doing. Vietnamese is easier to distinguish because it's just English and it just has a bunch of dots on it. <laughs> what am I stupid say? Someone's definitely going to be offended and I don't care. I don't care. I'm not saying anything offensive. Isn't this a cool blanket? In honor of the blanket, I will. I don't know. It's cool. What the? What the? Bleak. That's right. Got him with the cheese. <coughs> I'm verified on Twitter, guys. You can't do anything about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have the bad moon rising. Okay, now we're doing it. Now, now for real. This time, we're also going to get HG superpower on the block. I'm just... I'm just telling you how this works. This is what is happening here, folks. What does Fry's blanket say? Partner, 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 partner. Exactly. What does the blanket say? This goes here now, right? Hell yeah. I didn't even calculate that, but that makes sense. Now we can still use the ring. Wait. It's Captain Combustible, so unless he covers the environment, which Captain Combustible runs environments? I think we got the full Bad Moon Rising now, because we'll play this for five, and we'll get back five. We'll get back three and two. We good, guys. And then we Bad Moon Rising, and then we leap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was so worth it to go to ten games just for this play. This Captain Combustible doesn't have grave removal. He needs an environment to stop this from happening. That would suck. It's not worth it, though. I hope it's not. I hope he doesn't. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Guys, this is going to be the play of this. This is turn five. This is turn five. I can feel it. You guys feel it? 
Do you guys watch it at home? Do you guys on the highlight count? Do you guys feel the play? I feel the play. Oh my goodness gracious. This is going to be some real pie right in the oven. First of all, what's in the box? Let's just start off with that. Hell. This is not scripted. This is not scripted. <laughs> I hyped that up so much, too. <laughs> Come on. The only saving grace of this play is that the Warlord was on the left and the Mug was on the right. So the Warlord did activate first. So, as I was saying... <laughs> we do have a Warlord mug coming up, though. <laughs> so that's fun. I guess I'm leaping the Warlord because it doesn't have stats? Guys, take two. Take two. Let's go. Leap. Give me some, give me some friend. That's not a good leap. That's a terrible leap. Gosh. All right, let's do this. We're going face. We can teleport the, the blob next turn. That'll be cool. Can't play any more tricks if we can kill this now. No, that's a fail. That is a fail. <laughs> I was turned five. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, Mug, I never want to see your face here again. Everything wins. We just win. <laughs> just win, win, well, He's gonna do not repeat Moscow. Oh my gosh. If this guy. That's right. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> that is how you BM, folks. It's still a BM. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. We're going out in style. Now what? Uh oh. <laughs> yes! man has got plays. <laughs> I think he knows what's up. I think he finally he finally understood what his role in the stream is. <laughs> Guys, what a, what a way to end the stream. What a day. What a life here. We'll give you some more VM. Nebula over Nebula. Squared. Alright, people. Oh, I'm so happy I, I did an extra two games there. Eight and two. What a way to end it. What a cool, that's a fun deck, man. Honestly, though, the Nebula, everything but Nebula. Take out Nebula and add Leap Station, this deck. Blob, Moon, Leap, Rise. Oh, man. <laughs> That's fun. That was a fun stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. I most certainly did. <laughs> I mean, the Nebula did something on Game 10, so maybe it wasn't that useless after all. I will see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.